Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with NK Maribor in the Champions League, kind of, not really, we're not really in it anymore. Since the last episode where we ended it after getting battered 5-0 by PSG in the Champions League at home, we went to play Kursko in the league at home and it was a 6-0 victory. Clemens Schuhauper with two goals for us, Kassim Dumbaya with a goal, Taveras with two goals and Osar Osaramen Ebagua also with a goal. 22 shots, 16 on target, we destroyed them. Next up was another league game at home, this time up against Rudar Valenia. It was a 1-0 victory here. A Saruman Ebagoa with the only goal of the game right at the end of the match, so we were lucky to actually pick up the three points here. Then we played a Champions League game against Shakhtar, and we lost 4-0 at home again. Marlos this time with the hat-trick for Shakhtar. Zubkov also scoring a goal in the 93rd minute. Marlos also missed the penalty. Again, we were terrible. Two more league games and a cup game to go. First up in the league, Olympia were our opponents. A 5-0 victory. Zahavic with a goal. Blas Verhovic also scoring a hat-trick. And Joe Rowley managed to score a goal as well, who I'm actually now retraining to be a striker. The other league game was a 0-0 draw against Selja. Not a lot we can really say about this. We just weren't very good. And then another match against Olympia in the Slovenian Cup quarter-final. First leg. We won 6-3. I played a slightly rotated side. And by slightly rotated, I mean... Hajdini was our goalkeeper. Maybe that was the reason why we conceded three. Sula with a goal. Versic with a goal as well. Zahavic getting a hat-trick. Joe Rowley also on the score sheet. For Olympia, it was Branko Ilic. And Ivan Lendrick gets two goals for them. We do have to play them again in the second leg, however. So, league-wise, we're top by eight points with two games in hand. We've still not lost a game. We've only drawn two. Our goal difference is positive 38. It's the Champions League where the problems are. We're bottom of our group. Uh, we can still technically qualify, we've got three games left in the group, but we are sat on zero points, three defeats, goal difference of minus 11, we've only scored twice and that was against Celtic. Today we're going to have Shakhtar, and then we're also going to have some matches in between the Shakhtar game, and we're going to end with PSG away, we're going to lose like 8-0. Is the hope of Europa League football kind of gone? I feel like it might be, I mean we need, if it, if it isn't, it will be after this game, unless we beat Shakhtar. If we lose to Shakhtar, they will move on to seven points. Celtic play PSG, so that's kind of irrelevant at the moment. We will be sat on zero points with a total possible point of six, which will only be enough to possibly catch Celtic, maybe. The starting lineup we're going to go for, we're going back to the Blackburn formation. So Handanovic will be the goalkeeper. Sula, Schopenhauer and Dumbaya will be the back three. Milic and Vila will be the two fullbacks. As always, Verhovic and Pila in the middle. Versic, Zahovic and Taveres will be the front three. You've, you might have noticed, Zahovic and Taveres, they're actually starting to become a little bit more competent as complete forwards. It's taken a while, but they are doing it. Much like the PSG game, I think we're going to get battered here. We are away from home. I mean, that's a huge stand. Why is that stand so big? There's no one here. No one's turned up for it. Can you blame them? It's not exactly a, a money-spinning tie. <laughs> Completely empty stand. The Maribor fans have an entire stand to themselves. All 15 of them have turned up. Eight minutes in, and we've got the first highlight. Alan Patrick with a ball for Shakhtar. Mike on. Towards, well, forward, but it's cleared forward. Are we now going to get it clear? Marcus Tavares finds Versic. Versic forward, Zahovic running through on goal. Go on, make it 1-0. He's had a go, forced a save out of Piotrov. It's going to be a corner for Maribor, eight minutes in. Versic takes the corner towards the back. Tavares is going to have a go. It's hit a man on the line. We've scored. We've actually scored Luka Zahovic with the goal. Marcos Tavares' shot was actually blocked by a player on the goal line, possibly by his hands. Doesn't matter, we scored. 11 minutes in, Verhovic tackles on the edge of our own area. Zahovic, ball forward, tries to find Tavares, does find Tavares. Is Marcos Tavares going to make it too? Piotr once again with the big save, giving away a corner. Verhovic's corner comes in, cleared. Mykon's not going to get there. Pila, edge of the area, finds Sula. Back heel to Tavares. Tavares is in the area. He's been tackled by a combination of two players. Milec gets the ball back though for Maribor. Fine, nothing will happen then. Another corner, Versic takes it this time, cleared, Pila, edge of the area, takes a touch, has a go, hits it just over the bar. We are actually all over Shakhtar at the moment, and I'm concerned, because we shouldn't be. Long ball upfield, the keeper heads to Marcos Tavares, dink it over the keeper, you silly idiot! How did you not score? The keeper was actually outside of his area. 
Vila with a throw on now. Pila gets it from Vila's throw. Vila back. Zahavic crosses in towards the keeper. P Piatov with the ball in his hands. I think at the moment, obviously we're still going to be bottom of the table. Celtic and PSV are draw. PSV PSG are drawing currently. So those two will go top. I don't want it to actually have to go to the PSG game and us to get a result there in order to uh, potentially claim European football. Zahavic is in the area. He's had a go. It's deflected. Verhovic gets it. Milic, he's been fouled. He's not been fouled. Pilo with the ball. Milic again. Tavares is there. Tavares has rattled the bar. We should be 3-0 up. Easily 3-0 up. Alan Patrick with the corner for Shakhtar. It's, cl it's cleared. It's not cleared. It was an effort by Marlos, but it's over the bar. Dumbaya with a free kick, tries to find Milic, does find Milic with his red boots. Tavares, Zahavic has a go, and Zah Zahavic hits it just wide. We are getting so close to getting a second goal here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but half-time we are winning a Champions League group game against Shakhtar Donetsk, and we are the better side. 14 shots, 7 on target. We just need to get a goal. Another goal, 2-0, and then it's suddenly going to be looking a little bit more comfortable. Versic with a free kick. Early on in the second half, we've got a penalty. We actually have a penalty. Junior Morales pushed Zahavic. Versic is going to take it. Piotov in goal for Shakhtar. Are we going to make it 2-0 early on in the second half? Go on, Versic. He's, he's put it in the back of the net. Thank Christ for that. It is 2-0. His 10th goal of the season. Not many have been in the Champions League, if I'm honest. Are we going to get three points? We might be getting three points in the Champions League here. Straight after the goal and another highlight. Dumbaya with the ball for us. Schopenhauer. Long ball towards the strikers but doesn't manage to find any of them. Shakhtar now playing it back towards us. Vila though returns the favour. Marcos Tavares. He's only got one in the box. Crosses in. He finds Zahavic and Zahavic's effort is literally inches wide of the post. We should be probably 4-0 up. We really should. We are so much better than Shakhtar in this game. It's unbelievable. I don't know how we lost to them last time round. PSG are beating Celtic. Things are actually picking up here. Dumbaya with a ball. Vila keeps it in just about. Inside to Pila. Pila forward. Finds Luka Zahavic. Versic with the, the penalty score. Marcos Tavares, who has not scored yet, tries to find one of our players but can't manage it. Verhovic to Pila again. Vila forward, Tavares in the area, he's been tackled and now Shakhtar can counter-attack. Zubkov runs forward, he's got one player to his left, it's Tyson, cross-field, Marlos is there, controls it in the area, has a go, no he doesn't have a go, he's crossed it to Tyson, what a finish that was. It's 2-1, let's not collapse now please. 75 minutes in, we're going to do a sub, we're going to bring off Tavares for Ebagua. Think that's all. I mean, that's more of like a time wasting thing. And Tavares hasn't really, he's had a lot of chances and not scored any. Final five minutes. I was going to do a substitution, but we've got a highlight instead. Ebagua, Pila, Pila, where are you going to go? Back to Villa. Villa, ball forward, doesn't find Ebagua. And now Shakhtar can counter. Dumbaya gets tackled. Shakhtar definitely can counter. Sula, though, intercepts the pass all the way back to Handanovic, who just smashes it upfield. Zahovic doesn't bother going for a header. Now, Shakhtar with a ball on the left-hand side. Tyson, the goal scorer. Is he going to cross it in? He does cross it in. Marlos is at the back and it is in the back of the net. It is 2-2. We've thrown it away. There is four minutes left. Alexander Zubkov with the goal, the substitute. Do we do we try? I don't I don't know. We should have scored about four or five earlier on. We've got a highlight. Vila's cross in is cleared. Milec is going to get another chance. So crosses in, cleared again. Mike on. Forward to Alan Patrick. Zubkov, the goal scorer. He's got seven, literally seven Shakhtar players up with him. Marlos is going to cross it in, and the effort is in the back of the net. We were 2-0 up. We were actually 2-0 up. We're going to lose 3-2, and it looks like the Champions League dream is probably gone. It probably also looks like the Europa League dream is gone, doesn't it, with this result? Mike on. Ball forward doesn't manage to find his man. Zahavic. Zahavic, where are you going to go? Back to Schopenhauer. Pila. Versic. He's played it forward to Ebergo in the area. Ebergo has to score, and he does score. It is three all. We are going to possibly pick up a point. We've got four minutes left to play of injury time. I can't help but think that Tavares was to blame. He had so many chances and just didn't actually score any. We've got we've hit the 95. It's going to be 3-3 three, three in the Ukraine, unless something comes of this, which I don't think it will. So we're going to pick up a point. With uh, two games left to play, maximum seven points to get, which in theory could possibly be enough to get us through 
to the knockout stage. It's not going to happen. It's really not going to happen. Zah Hold on, Zahovic is running in on goal. He's not going to get there. We are 30 seconds over the 95. Vila, Ebergo is not going to get there either. Referee, just blow the whistle. A 3 all draw is it's not the best. It's not the worst. There it is. The whistle goes. We've got a point in the Ukraine. The most important thing about that point is this. We've been given £445,000 for getting a point there. Right, we're going to have a change of plan. I was originally going to do the PSG game, but it looks like we might need to do the Celtic game instead because if we beat Celtic, the chances of the PSG game meaning something are a lot higher, so we need to beat Celtic. If we lose to Celtic, the PSG game means literally nothing. So, up next, we're going to have Celtic at home. It's, it's a winnable game. I really think it's a winnable game. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention... A while ago, uh, in uh, September, the 8th of September, I asked the board to improve the youth facilities, which they've agreed to. So, hopefully, which actually is not too far... No, that's that's very far away. That's a year away. Well, we're getting better youth facilities anyway, which is really useful because I want to start building from the back. And by from the back, I mean with the children. That is getting worse. I should probably stop talking. Welcome back. Since the Shakhtar game, we've played three games They've not been great. There's uh, quite a few draws. So, first up, against Gorisha was a 2-2 draw. Blaz Vrohovic and Osaramen Ebagua were the two goals for us. Two penalties from uh, Josip Juranovic with uh, the goals for Gorichka. Schopenhauer gave away both of them. I don't really know why I didn't sub him. In the Slovenian Cup, however, we did manage to set up a semi-final tie against Donzele after a 3-0 victory in the second leg. Pila, Zahavic and Taveras with the goals. And then back in the league against Illumini, it was a 3-3 draw this time round. The goals for Illumini were scored by Rock Kid Kidrik and Dejan Petrovic. For us, Marco Sula gets two goals and Luka Zahavic also gets on the score sheet. Milic this time giving away the penalty. I don't know why we keep doing it. We seem to give away so many penalties. We have to win here if we stand any hope of getting Europa League football. Basically, I've, I've done some maths in my head. I've worked it out. If we win here, obviously we go four points. Celtic will stay on five points. Ideally, PSG will beat Shakhtar, which I suspect will probably happen as they have yet to lose. So we'll have two teams on five, one team on four. It means we then go and play PSG and we need to beat them in order to go through because our goal difference is going to be so bad that we have to win in order to uh, basically get ahead of Celtic or Shakhtar. If Celtic and Shakhtar draw and we beat PSG, it's a very big ask. We will still go through. We, will, I think if that happens, we'll actually go through to the knockout rounds. If we win against PSG and Shakhtar win or Celtic win, then we will finish third in the group into the Europa League. We go. The starting lineup we are going to go for will be Handanovic in goal. Dumbaya, Schopenhauer and Rysovic will be the back three. Sula has just picked up an injury, so he's out for four weeks or something like that. Perfect timing. Martin Milic and Dino Hotic will be the two fullbacks today because our left back has also picked up an injury. Blaz Verhovic and Alex Pilo will be in the middle. Versic will be just behind the strike partnership of Luka Zahovic and Osaramen Ebagua today because Tavares couldn't hit a barn door with a banjo. Celtic once again looking strong. They've got, well, they're not playing Doris de Vries today. They are playing Craig Gordon. So I don't, is that a better goalkeeper? I assume so, although Craig Gordon is probably, what I think he's about 38 at the moment, isn't he? 17 minutes in and we've got our first highlight of the game. Apparently we are struggling to keep possession, which does not surprise me. Hotic trying to go down the left-hand side, cuts inside and finds Versic instead, tries to play Ebergoa through but can't manage to do it. Hayes now... For Celtic forward, Dembele flicks his head on, but Dembele is going to get there first for us. All the way back to Jasmine Handanovic. Schopenhauer, who hopefully isn't going to be as bad as he was the other week. Milic, forward, tries to find Luka Zahovic, does find Zahovic as well. He's got two in the box, if he can cross the ball in. He's actually played all the way to Pila. Pila's effort is over the bar. Martin Milic has made a lot of mistakes. I'm starting to think we need to get rid of this boy. PSG are beating Shakhtar, so if we win our game and it stays that way, we could be in for a chance. Corner comes in but cleared. Pilo's going to get the ball back, play it back to the corner taker. He does. Versic takes a touch, crosses in. Bits on, can clear it only as far as Pilo. Verhovic, where are you going? Zahovic to Versic, has a go. Craig Gordon makes a save, but it's going to be another corner. 
Versic's corner comes into the six yard box. It's cleared. Pila, bit of space, has a go. Found its way to Versic. First time cross. Kieran Tierney can head clear. Now Dembele can break for Celtic. Sinclair with the ball. Gets tackled by Verhovic. Dembele luckily pays attention. Milic clears upfield. Nothing is going to come from that highlight. I've just seen Man City, a 4 1 up. Aguero with all the goals. Half time. This isn't enough. This really is not enough for us. We need to actually win a game. I'm going to be assertive, get back out there and grab the goal. Didn't really make a difference, did it? Scott Sinclair. Oh, flip. Milic is going to get himself sent off. Sinclair was away. Milic just tripped him up on a yellow card. That is really not helpful, Martin. Versic has dropped to the right back position and then has been subbed for this guy who is going to probably... I was going to say be making his debut. It's not going to be his debut. He's played twice for us already. But Kuha is going to come on in a Champions League group stage game, which I suspect he wasn't expecting. Milic has made this job a hell of a lot harder. Shakhtar have made it harder as well. They've just equalised against PSG. We need a goal. Just a solitary goal. Just one victory in the Champions League, even if we don't go through anywhere. Pila, corner comes in. Dumbaya's there. It's cleared. Pila's going to get the ball back. Pila crosses in, Ebagua doesn't bother jumping for it. Now Brown can run clear for Celtic. Lumps it upfield to Christie, controls it. Across to Griffiths. Griffiths effort is over the bar. Thank God for that. Schopenhauer with a free kick. We've got just over 10 minutes to play. Pila in the centre circle. Luka Zahovic needs a runner. Hotic is that runner. Ebagua's in the box. Crosses in, Ebagua is there. He's at the underside of the bar and didn't go for the rebound. Final 10 minutes, Ebagua is coming off for Tavares. What else do we do? There's not a lot I can do, really. Everyone, we're playing all right. We're actually doing okay. Final five minutes. Is this going to be a goal for Celtic? Pila can't get the ball clear. Christie, Dumbaya intercepts it. Just lump it upfield, mate. Just don't go into the corner. He does lump it upfield, but he's going to find a Celtic player. Bit on. Verhovic takes the ball away from him. Tavares, hopefully he's got some fresh legs on him, even though he is 33. Plays it back to one of the Celtic players. Griffiths in the centre circle, intercepted by Dino Hotic. Long ball upfield. Marcos Tavares is running onto it. Is he going to put it in the net? He doesn't do it. Tavares, you inches, just inches the other side. Schopenhauer heads the ball clear from the Celtic free kick. Tavares finds Zahovic. Gets tackled by Compa. Hopefully Zahovic is going to win the ball back though. Christie gets it. Bit on. Scott Sinclair. Crossfield ball intercepted by Hotic. First time lump upfield. Tavera's controls. Zahovic doesn't quite win the header. And now Celtic can break once again. No, they can't. Dumbaya intercepts it. Zahovic this time with the ball. Tavares runs into the area. Has a go. Keeper questionably saves it. And Lustig has managed to give away a corner. We've got three minutes. We need a goal. Corner comes in from Tavares. To the six-yard box, it's cleared. Lustig is going to clear it further, and that will probably end the highlight. And if not, why not? Sinclair running down the left-hand side for Celtic. This is why not. He's going to cross it in. It's gone all the way over the top. It's going to be a goal kick. We this is another game we should have won. We should have six points in this Champions League group. We're going to end it with two. Corner comes in from Celtic. It's cleared. Scott Sinclair's going to get there. We've got 30 seconds left to play. Griffiths into the area. Has a go. Handanovic easily claims the ball. With 10 men, we have held Celtic. Not only have we held Celtic, we've been better than Celtic. There's still potentially chan a chance in this highlight, but it's looking like it's going to be a Celtic one if it's going anyone. What are you doing there? Good clearance from Handanovic. Kuha forward. Zahovic. We've got five seconds. Ball upfield towards Tavares. He flicks on the head, but it's cleared. Kuha. Why did you stop running? Scott Sinclair with the ball. Tackle him. Doesn't bother. The full time whistle is going to go any second now. It's going to be a nil nil draw. We've picked up two points in this episode in the Champions League group, but we are now going to be out of the competition because our goal difference was so appalling going into these two matches. And that's why we wanted to play this match on camera rather than the PSG game. So we are out of the Champions League, which means this season is pretty much done. Next episode, what it'll be, it will be kind of a half summary roundup of the entire season. So we are going to go all the way through to May, June, July 2018. So the, the uh, Slovenian League will be complete. We'll hopefully be champions. I think we might even win the Slovenian Cup if all things goes our way. There's a whole load of transfers. There's some coming in in January as well. I'm going to do a big old roundup at the start of the next episode so there won't be any matches. But we'll be starting Season 2 on our quest to actually get somewhere in the Champions League. So this is what we've got left to play. 
there's still a lot of football. Obviously, you can see down here, Slovenian Cup semi-final against Domzele. So we do have a cup competition that we could potentially win. We are very close to doing that. Obviously, checking the Slovenian League. We are top of the table. Six points clear. Two games in hand. Haven't actually lost a game all season. Four draws, 12 wins. That should be wrapped up. I was going to say fairly quickly. It won't be fairly quickly, but it should be wrapped up in, let's say, February or March time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2018 with NK Maribor. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. <laughs>